Hello, it's Carla Sweet from Scrap and Create, and today I'm here to share with you a baby album made with the beautiful Stamperia Savannah paper collection. I, I just love this paper. It's the most beautiful paper I think I've ever seen, and this video will do it, do it no justice. The reason I wanted to make a baby album out of it is my nephew, who... Him and his wife are having a baby. We have three baby boys born this year, so I'm making lots of baby albums. Him and his wife love everything to do with Africa, and their house is filled with African images and elephants. So I thought, well, this collection is perfect for baby albums. And you just see this parade of mommies and baby um, animals here right up front. So what I came up with was, uh, I'm pretty sure this is nine by seven. Yeah, nine by seven with a two inch spine. Uh, mini album with three pocket pages. It's not a huge album, but it's, I think it's perfect. So what I did with the cover is I just used this image from the eight by eight collection of the mommy and the babies walk, walking through life in the Savannah and I used one of these circles, lots of circles in the collection. And I think these are called mandalas, spiritual circles. So if you see in my video, my tutorials that are coming up, I call them mandalas. Excuse me, I must have had Nelson Mandela on my mind. But they're mandalas, not mandalas. So excuse me if I made that mistake. But this is the front cover. Pretty simple, but I just think it's gorgeous having that circle of life with the baby's name right there. And then I'll put the birth date once the baby's born in there. The spine. And then the back of this mini album has the tree of life on the back, which I thought was so appropriate for a baby's album. It's held together by the same closure that I showed you um, how to make when we I did the the Dosa Dos um, Christmas album. So that is a perfect closure for this, I think, this elastic closure. So we open it up. And we come to, I call this our zebra layout. So the inside front cover is going to have a pocket where we have this um, library little pocket with a tag long life and in the back I'm going to be writing a little note to my nephew and his wife and then in this pocket right on top it says live your life so I thought that was so positive um, when you're having a baby so put that in there and then in the pocket I made this booklet it's just a, a booklet that you can journal anything you want about your baby. A bunch of blank pages and use this beautiful paper with Life is an Echo. And it's going to be fitting in that pocket with this mandala overlying it to keep everything secure so it doesn't fall out. Then we get to our first page. So we have the family trio of zebras. There's a little ribbon pole with a magnet closure. You open it up, and I'm just using some um, photos of my daughter. She just had her baby too, a baby boy. So I just put that in here just to give you an example on how you, this would work. So the ba the family trio here, the baby is tuck, tucked under here with this little tuck spot of the mommy and the mommy zebra and the baby zebra. So that just holds that little photo in there. Then this closes and you have another flip here. And these aren't held into place because these are not staying in here, but I wanted to show you how this would work. And on this side, you have another little tuck spot with the two zebras where you can put a photo. 
and then some other littler fold, full, um, photos on this side. So that's it for the photos. I just want to give you an idea of how the photos would work in this baby album. And on this side of the zebra page um, layout, we have a little pocket and I put in this from the 12 by 12 collection. You can either put a photo on the back, leave it as it is, make another photo um, little booklet and just stick that in the pocket there. So more room for some photos. This closes up and then we get to our elephant layout. I call this the elephant layout. So on this page, we are starting with this image. It's from the 12 by 12 collection and I made a waterfall. This is a portrait um, waterfall. So your page is Photos are going up and down. Uh, I have this little um, circle element here, tie closure, and you open it up and you have a simple waterfall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight photos. And the, the back of this is the eight by eight paper that is in the background here. And then I have, may all good things find you and stay with you with another little circle element. I'm gonna put the baby's photo on the back and that will fit back in here. So these, these fit, uh, easily fit one of my pictures here. So I use three and a half by five inch photos for my albums. I make a lot of albums, get a lot of photos printed, and I like the three and a half by five more so than the four by sixes. So that will fit perfect right in here. And then this just closes up with this little tie. And then we go on to this page with the mommy elephant and the baby elephant. We have a pocket here with a, a, that elephant tag again, long life. And then I have this larger tag that fits in that pocket that is just a continuation of this page. So it says the elephant lovers of nature. So I just use this um, page. This is from the eight by eight and then cut it and then form a tag here that fits into this beautiful pocket. I just love that pocket that goes in there. And then we have our little ribbon pole that tells us we can open this up. And then we come to this layout, a beautiful layout of the Savannah. I didn't wanna cover any of it up so I just kind of left it. This is gorgeous. If you see this paper in person, you will just go, this is like a painting. It's, it's, it blew me away when I saw it. Um, this beautiful image, did not want to cover it. I cut out this circle, has the elephants on the back. You can either put a, a cutout of the baby in the circle and put it in there, or leave this as it is. And you can put little images, let's see if I got a photo. And up in here, I thought, well, you can use some of your baby photos and put them up in the sky, maybe do a circular cutout also. Um, that would look nice up in there. But did not want to cover up this, this beautiful paper. So that's the elephant page. And we turn and we go to our giraffe layout. So we got the right and left giraffe layout. So on this side, we have this image from the 8x8 collection. And you just pull the tab here. And you can put a photo back in, in here too. And there's room for photos here also. We can pull this out. And here we have a little tuck spot. So this tuck spot was made um, from the mommy and baby elephant image, and I black backed it on black 
cardstock and cut it out and then put this bright, bright uh, mandala behind it. So you can put your, your uh, mother and baby image behind it. You open this up and you come to this beautiful, beautiful paper. I'm not sure if this is from the eight by eight or the 12 by 12, but it's continuous also with a pocket down here where you can put a booklet or a, a, a photo, what's it called? A photo mat, a photo mat in here. And then I cut out this tag, live every day of your life. So many positive sentiments for a baby, I, I think. And then of course you have this here for another um, picture over on this side. And then this closes up and you come to this side of the giraffe layout. We start off with this pocket. Nobody is like you. That is your power. And we have this giraffe that's peeking through. I just think he's kind of cute peeking through there. You pull this up and you have a nice space for journaling or you can put um, some images on the back if you like also. So that will hold a two and a half by three and a half image back there too. So that goes back in here. And then we have this beautiful um, mandala with a magnet that's holding this waterfall close. So this is going to be a, a landscape waterfall. So we open it up and then we have this image of the giraffes from the 12 by 12 collection. So this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten places for photos here. This back image is just a continuation of this paper that's on the background. A beautiful image here. And we can put your your um, landscape images in this orientation. So I always love waterfalls because they hold a lot of images. They don't take up a lot of room. And we all always need both our portrait and our landscape places for our portrait and landscape images. And then this just has a closure with the tree of life down here again. So we close this magnetic closure and then we turn the page. And this is our last page. This is a simple belly band with this sentiment. Walk through life with the strength of, the li of a lion and the tranquility of a sunset. Beautiful paper in here. And I made a little booklet using these animals, same ones from the front cover, on their journey through life, walking through life. And it's just a little booklet for more photos. That fits back in here, and there's plenty of room in here to put more photo mats or booklets. Then we come to the back inside cover, which is going to have this large envelope using this beautiful paper, I think, I don't know if this is from the eight by eight or 12 by 12. Can't remember, um, it's one of those. And what I did is use those circles again for the button tie closures. I love making but button tie closures. And this just opens up and this is an accordion envelope. So lots of room in this pocket. So my idea for here was just to put any cards that um, the couple, my nephew and he, uh, his wife get uh, for their new baby. So they can put anything that they get into this pocket or anything they want in this pocket. It's a pretty deep pocket and it closes up real tight with this little button tie closure. And that's it, just a simple album three three pocket pages but I wanted to show you something else now 
a lot of people can make these albums, but to actually put all the photos in, that is the hard part. At least it is for me. So just want to share with you what I do. I get all my photos and I get two sizes. I get my five by three and a half photos and I get all them collected, the ones that I want to use in the album. And then I get, let's see if I can show you. I get the same pictures that I got in the five by five. I make them in this two and a half um, by three and a half size. That way, when you're placing your photos, you can say, well, I want this big one, but maybe I want um, this smaller photo. So that way you can play around while you're putting your photos in because these are going to be too big for some of your spots. And it's nice to have all these extra little photos that you can put elsewhere. These I get from Mpix. So mpix.com is where I like to get these printed. Um, they're good quality, they're so beautiful. The quality of their photos is beautiful. And if you get a 30% coupon, they send those out all the time. You'll That's when I order them. So I just wait till they have a 30% off and then order all my pictures. So those are my three and a half by fives. These are harder to come by. If you've ever ordered wallets, you tend to have to get four of the same image images. Well, I found a place where, let me show you, you can get eight images like, like this on a single sheet. So what you do is you upload your, your photos and then you just plop them in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you get eight images in one sheet. And then that's, you pop them out. And that is so cool. Uh, I used to do it in Photoshop and make my own, my own two by threes, two and a half by three and a halfs. But now I can just get multiple images printed and the quality of their, of these pictures is beautiful. Where do you get these? Well, the site that I found, and other places may make them, but this is the only one I could find that did this, was Black River Imaging. Black River Imaging. Just go to blackriverimaging.com. Look at photos and pricing, and you will see two and a half by three and a half, eight images. That's what you want. And just put pick multiple images so you can pick eight different images. It's, I think, 282 per sheet. And to me, that's a good deal. The rest of their um, image sizes, they're a little more expensive than I like, so I just use them for my eight, my two and a half by three and a half images. And like I said, I use Mpix for my other sizes. So that is what I do for my photo albums. So I hope you like this little baby album. It is, it is beautiful and it's a pretty simple album for people that don't like a lot of flips and flaps and turnings and they don't know where to even put their photos. This one is a good one. So let me know what you think of this baby album in the comment section and you, the tutorial will follow shortly. So I hope you like it and I will see you next time. I have another baby album coming up shortly too. So see you guys later. Bye.